Hi, in today's video I am going to show you uh, how we deal more in depth with list. Uh, it's actually our third uh, video regarding list uh, Dynamo specifically. In the previous uh, video we saw uh, some work about list sequence and uh, list range. Uh, and today I'm going to show and express for you how to work easily with uh, list <clears throat> list uh, create and list transpose uh, I do prefer to do that based on a very basic uh, example uh, by drawing a very basic shape so let's go ahead and, and do it uh, so if I go here and uh, double click on the screen and, and create a simple range uh, of numbers starting from 0 to 5 to 1 and we explained that in earlier videos uh, creating here as we said an input list and that's the list that we actually have nothing uh, to start from except this unit so it's not an end up <clears throat> sorry it's a it's not a process it's a like it like an input list that we can create a group of number uh, with a specific sequence or a specific range so that's for me as I understand it it's look like an input list we're creating a, a new uh, result or a new, a new group of number that really would work to be uh, are, are gonna be really work as an input so I'm gonna need a point for example and the best here is point by coordinate so if I connect this group of uh, point that created by this range or uh, this range so those again will be the input as I said to this point and I create here a uh, I get six point as you can see here from zero to uh, five that's so far so good now uh, let's uh, create another two rows of this and we can do that in two ways actually we can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, use uh, the, the copy here or translate or I can just go ahead and say here point dot add it's a uh, almost similar technique notes here the list created in each in each uh, node so that's an input as I said for this point and now we have those points it's again a list and the type of list is different here it's just numbers here it's X Y and Z and so their location or coordination of a points now we can use this point to add a new points so that's the origin here again that will be the input for this one and we need a vector so the best here is to use vector by coordinate again and I will just uh, use a code block here and I will just use number let's say uh, 5 maybe so I will just push everything in the y direction so that's it and I'm gonna connect that here so what we've done so far is we create a list a range then point those here six and then by using this node point add we copied this here or added a new point based on this point by shifting that into this vector which is a y axis by five good so now we have an, a good understanding of these two types of lists and that's again we can see the list has been created here now I can just copy this and that and this and then push that up and I will use again a point at and I will use the same points here and let me push this time that way in y instead of 2 sorry instead of 5 I'm gonna use 2.5 as you can see here and I can just uh, go ahead and hit enter here and uh, have the number 5 and then uh, semicolons and I'll use that in z so uh, what we've done here we created here as you can see that's uh, we push that in 2.5 and y and then I push that vertically 5 and it's look like ugly enough so I'm gonna make this 
like this and here by using control and B you can just navigate and see the points that we have created now not by you not like we usually usually do by using the translate but this time by using the uh, point dot add nodes uh, fun uh, functions or nodes actually nodes in here sorry <clears throat> so that's what we what we've done so far and now in order to create a curve like this and a curve like that we're probably going to need something called a uh, curve and as we said a couple of times when we say curve in dynamo it's just a way of expression uh, that might go for a real curve or a point so i will say curve dot by point and <clears throat> we have those two options which is here a polygon and i can go to nerves uh, i'll go by nerves now if i connect this guy here like this it's gonna create this line for me and that's what i wanted so that's okay now i can just go ahead and just connect the whole thing uh, together as you can see or i can just connect that here as you can see again and it created this for me you can go ahead and you know like create um, those uh, as a separated point but again it's a kind of a waste of time so the right thing you need here is something which is a list that contain those points this one this one and this one and put them in one list a more complicated list so if, if you look at this see there's list in here there's list in here there's list in here each one of them represent those rows so we need to create a bigger list a compound list okay that is made of those three sub listed and they're gonna be actually a sub list so in this case we're gonna go for the most common use one which is list dot create as you can see it's very powerful tool because you know like it's allow you to add indexes we're gonna call each one of those as an index and create a bigger list a more compound list out of those so let's say uh, which one is the first this one the first okay so I'm gonna connect it first to index 0 then I want this one and I don't know which is which so I'm just gonna create this one now I'm gonna turn it blue so I create this one I'm gonna turn it blue okay so that's the second and again that's the third and be aware that the zero here is actually as a category or a place so you are, we are not going to start from one we're going to start from zero make this really good understand from you for you and now look at this type of list is different from this range this is like an input a way to create a list a number a group of number it's look like usually used as an input method but this one it's uh, it's allow you to create a complex uh, list system made out of other lists and it's uh, it's uh, flexible you can increase more or, or uh, decrease the number of indexes inside and if you open that you're gonna see that there is sub listed and as you can see there's only one there's no number here but look here there's sub list zero sub list one sub list two all that belong to this bigger list so those are like nested and again you can have a look at uh, this guy here if you click it this guy again those are the sequence that's the that's the first one and that's the second one see and that's the third one and it took all those and put it here all those and put it here and so on and which is really cool and and, and, and useful uh, because it allow us to to track the the way this list has been arranged it's really important to do that and now that's a, that's the thing and the great thing that this will allow us to connect the output of this bigger list to this nerve curve dot by point once and see we can create three curved or three lines imagine that if you have like a hundred of those with one function of or one node sorry of nerve curve by point so you don't need to keep repeating one for this one for that and one for this one rather than you can create one list that contain all others and then use that once to create the nerve curve by point as you can see that's uh, uh it's really good 
now so far so good now the thing we might think later is to connect those or the first one of this list with the first one of this list with the first one of this list and so on to make like a curved here yeah, structures so in order to do that we have to deal with this guy here that have the list three of this group sub list and we need to take the first one of this with the first one of that with the first one of this so in order to do that we need a really important node we call it list transpose here yeah. and what this do is actually gonna flip this as a rising column so we're gonna have the first one of this the first one of this and the first one of this and then it create a list for us and then this guy and then this guy and this guy and so on so let's connect them and see see now we have this list zero so it took from this the name sorry the, the category zero here and that's the first one zero by zero and then it took zero by 2.5 and then it took this guy which is zero by five so everything that's the zero here that's the zero or one and that the second zero and that the third zero it's technically it's flip the rows into columns if you if you arrange that in excel or have a pre previous knowledge in excel and that make this list sorry this one two and three it's actually based on this number and this number and this number which is uh, really really important to be done and as you can see it's this guy and this guy and then this bold one and if you highlighted this you're gonna see that uh, it's the first and the first and the first thing you still have this is continuously uh, shown as a sequence because uh, I think I recently selected this in here but if you look carefully like for example to the last one you see that this guy and this guy and this guy so now if I copy this guy and paste it which is the nerve curve by point if I can make this group of nested list in it guess what gonna happen see it's really lovely to understand that if that's what list transpose do or actually does it's flip the list like this instead of that way instead of one two three four five it make it one two three one two three and so on and it's allow us to create you know the the curved base on a flipped or created newly newly created transpose list out of the previous one anyway i wish that you find that uh, tutorial uh, useful uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day bye bye